your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, we've got an oddity on the way for tomorrow morning, first of which will have a lunar eclipse. The sun's shadow will be cast on the moon, so it's going to have this kind of blood red appearance. But also, while that eclipse is going on as the moon is setting in the west, at the same time, the sun will be coming up in the east. Now, that seems completely impossible. The thing is, you'll be able to see this because the light from the sun and the moon will be refracted through the atmosphere. So you shouldn't be able to see both at the same time in the sky. But because of the changing density through our atmosphere, the light will be bent, refracted, and you will be able to see both generally in the 747 to 750 time frame tomorrow morning and will be kind of in this part of the lunar eclipse. So not a complete one but it will be kind of a blood red color from the shadow. But it's a very narrow window, and I think the weather could cooperate. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms once again today. But skies will clear tonight, and other than some patchy shallow fog, it should be a clear sky to view that. Right now, those spotty showers and thunderstorms around, a few kind of hugging our far southern counties. Pretty intense little thunderstorm here south of Frankfurt, Lafayette, Greater Lafayette Metro is fine, but pretty good storm here to the southeast of Manson. Moving through Cyclone, headed towards Kirkland. There could even be a little pea-sized hail mixed up in that. And a few more spotty showers here in Newton. Jasper County dropping southeastward towards White and Benton counties and a couple other showers near Rochester. We actually had a thunder shower about an hour and a half ago that dumped an inch of hail accumulation on Akron, Indiana near Rochester, and that hail maxed out at about dime to penny size. And then we look forward to a beautiful Wednesday. Mostly sunny skies, but a few more scattered showers. Perhaps an isolated thunderstorm comes in late Thursday and especially Thursday night. A little frost by Friday night and more showers and storms by next week. 61 at 7 tonight, 55 at 9 will drop down to 42 degrees and then be back to 61 by 11 a.m. tomorrow with a high tomorrow of 70 degrees. No rain, a nice southwest breeze, perfect day, 67 Burlington, 70 Pine Village, even 72 at Covington. High rest future cast shows the clear skies tonight, some patchy fog around, but notice tomorrow, see the clock up here? Through the day, looks good. Just a couple fair weather cumulus clouds before the clouds start to increase tomorrow night. And then a few spotty showers come in by noon Thursday, a few more, especially in the south, around 3, 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon. The main scattered showers and storms come in on Thursday night. Notice the clock up here. That's very early, fr early Friday morning at 2 o'clock, and eventually we'll get the rain out of here by Friday morning. 7-day forecast. It cools off Friday, 59 for the high, 34 on Friday night, and then we're back up to 71 Monday, 74 on Tuesday with additional showers and storms. Enjoy the eclipse. All right, that sounds yeah. fun. All right, thanks, Jeff. Sure. Just ahead, a routine traffic stop becomes violent and is caught on.